hey you worry to worry to trade as well come back to my youtube channel right so you know when i started to trade this way there was when i definitely killed it in the forex trading market right so what i would then do is you know isn't it that uh, i decided to be a price action trader right mind you that i do follow the trend i'm a trend follower i'm a pure price action trader right but now when i wasn't consistently profitable the problem that i had was you know price would get onto my resistance or trend line and then i would sell and then it, and then it would manipulate and then you know and stuff like that right so basically you find out that price broke out of my resistance and then you know hit my stop loss and then at the end of the day respecting my analysis right so you know i tried to figure out a way that i could use on some support or resistance uh that would somehow tell me that your pro price is not going to manipulate on the certain uh support or resistance so i tried to come up with a way that will somehow show me that no manipulation here is not going to happen right so you know i just somehow studied the market but remember that I, that i'm a self-taught forex trader right everything almost everything in fact 90 percent of my strategy is something that i came up with right so you know I studied the market pro day and night and uh, there was this other time where I then uh, I then somehow came up with what I was looking for right so basically isn't it that you know when price for instance let us say that price reaches my resistance right it gives me a bearish and galvin candlestick pattern right and then all of a sudden I sell and then boom he hits my stop loss and then price continues to my predicted direction so i was like how can i escape this kind of manipulation there was one i was like okay let me just somehow come up with this one way so what i then done was when price was on my support or resistance l let us just use uh, a resistance for this case right so when price was on my resistance for instance let us say that price gave me a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern right i started to discover something right so when price wasn't going to manipulate on a, a certain support or certain support uh, or certain resistance right so it would somehow let us say that price formed a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern on my resistance right and then after one candlestick pattern or i mean after let us say that price does give me that bearish and gaffing candlestick candlestick pattern right and then price would move to the downward maybe using one candlestick and then all of a sudden i would see price aggressively moving to the downward using a bearish and galvin candlestick pattern the same candlestick pattern that i used to confirm my entry on my resistance right so i was like okay so basically now i mustn't use one candlestick pattern for my entry but i must use two candlestick patterns to somehow confirm my entry right same thing applies on a support when price reaches my support and then please please note guys that this is most likely to happen on a uh, on on a bearish or bullish and galvin candlestick pattern right so basically i noticed that okay price comes to my support maybe it gives me a, a, a doji or a hammer bullish candlestick pattern right and then all of a sudden uh, uh all of a sudden after it has moved with one green candle it then gave me a bullish and galvin candlestick pattern and i was like okay this is very interesting and when price gave me that second candlestick pattern it never really came back to manipulate there was when i was like okay so basically price would inform this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern if the buyers had no had no momentum to continuously move price to the upper so the was when now remember guys that i always try to say to you that try as much as you can to ignore the first entry signal right so there was when i was like okay it gives me a bullish uh, uh, any any candlestick pattern maybe the hammer or what what um on my support and then i try to wait for a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern right so price price then for instance price would give me a hammer bullish uh candlestick pattern and then bro after two after it moves to the upward using two two candlestick patterns or one candlestick pattern it gives me that bullish and graphing candlestick pattern so bro price i'm going to repeat this again right so basically this is just a confirmation to me this is just a buy signal for me and that yes the past they really have momentum to move to the upper they they do not have the time to go back on that resistance right why would price give you a second candlestick pattern if it is yet uh, why would why would price give you a second 
bullish candlestick pattern if it somehow still wants to sell right so that was when i i, I now measured the momentum of the sellers and the buyers. same thing happened when price reaches a certain uh, resistance and then i get myself a, a bearish candlestick pattern and then you know followed by a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern right that just gave me a hint that yes the sellers they really mean business they are now ready to move to the downward right so basically that is what I, I, I didn't done right. And if you guys probably want me to, to show you uh, this way, right, make sure that you get this videos to at least a thousand likes, bro. Thousand likes, maybe 500 comments and stuff like that. I will then demonstrate what I'm talking about in the real market chart, right? So same thing applied, bro, right? Same thing applied with, um with, because, uh, uh, bro, the manipulation was just too much, right? Each and every time I even tried to trade a breakout, the same thing happened, right? Price would act like it is breaking out, right? And then all of a sudden, price gets inside of that consolidating structure and then goes the opposite way. And I was like, bro, how on earth can I, ex uh, can I escape manipulation from this breakout, right? I somehow tried to... To somehow ask myself and there was an i also came up with another hack or another method and i was like okay i need something that is going to somehow help me see that let us say that i i am wanting to sell and price is somehow consolidating and i see price breaking my support right so now i needed something that was going to somehow prove to me that the sellers they really mean business remember that on that candlestick pattern method that I showed you guys, right, I needed something that was somehow going to tell me that, yes, bro, the candlestick pattern that you saw there, it was the real, right? We are ready to move price to the donut, right? So, you know, that is why I always say that ignore the first entry signal, right? So, and now on this breakout, on on um, me having to somehow escape manipulation that was happening from breakouts, I tried to ask myself that, how can I somehow ignore the first entry signal on my breakouts? Because I now understood how the big banks work. I now understood that if I can just stay away from the first entry signal and then look for the second entry signal, that is when I'm going to have accuracy in the forex market because they use those first candlestick patterns to manipulate the market, right? So now, that was when I was like, okay, what if I have two breakouts? Yes, I am trading. I, I am wanting to trade a uh, breakout from this consolidating structure. But now, what if I, I somehow want to have two breakouts? There was when I now. Uh, there was when I now somehow in each and every consolidating structure, right? If price was somehow consolidating and stuff like that, or if price was moving in a consolidating manner, right? Before price gave me a breakout on that consolidating structure, I tried to draw my trend line inside of that consolidating structure and somehow see whether there was any trend line that broke right whether there was any uh, support or resistance that was broken inside of the trend line before it broke out of the main support or resistance right so basically there what i mean by that is i was now expecting to see two breakouts right and also, if you want me to demonstrate what I'm talking about the, uh, in this video, let's get this video to at least a thousand likes, right? So now, basically, what then happened was, inside of that, let us say that I'm wanting, uh, I'm wanting to sell, right, on a consolidating structure or on a cons uh, or an or on a continuation pattern, right? So basically, I would somehow try and draw my support, right? Isn't it that we have the main support and the main resistance of the main uh, continuation pattern, right? I will then go over to my lower time frame and then I will try to throw a support inside of this consolidating structure or inside of this continuation pattern. And then I try to see whether there was any support that was broken, right? Prior to the main support that uh, that is going to be broken, right? So now... I didn't treat breakout as, okay, I wait for one breakout and then that is cool, right? I somehow wanted to have two breakouts because remember, I need the market to convince me into selling, right? I need the market to somehow give me confidence into buying and selling, right? So one entry confirmation for me does not do the trick. I need at least two entry confirmations for me. So that is why also on my breakouts, when I get two breakouts, 
the first breakout i ignore and then when i get two breakouts that was that is when i somehow have confidence to enter in the forex market right so also guys if you want me to explain what i'm talking about let us get these videos to a thousand likes guys right and, and you know i'm currently giving away the forex trading strategy that changed my life for free you can join my telegram group the link will be in this video's description see you in the next one cool bye